Hi students, now in this video lecture we will go through Azeotrope's and Conovelope's law or Conovelope's rule. So Azeotrope is taken from a Greek word which means to boil unchanged. It means to boil unchanged. Now let's see what is unchanged here. Now let's first understand what is fractional distillation before we understand what is Azeotrope. Let's understand what is fractional distillation. So fractional distillation is a technique wherein we use we use this technique to separate mixture of liquids right now let's take an example of let's let's take a simple example of ethanol and water system right ethanol C2H5OH plus water mixture right and we want to separate this ethanol and water system Right, so when using fractional distillation we boil it we heat it right and we know that we know that C2H5OH ethanol is more volatile than water right since ethanol is more volatile so when it will vaporize right these vapors would contain more ethanol as compared to water why because ethanol is more volatile so when you heat it since it is more volatile so ethanol will quickly evaporate right and form vapors or more of ethanol will evaporate and form vapors compared to water because ethanol is more volatile so this mixture contains water and ethanol when you heat it more of ethanol passes into vapor phase right so when you when you condense this if you condense it right if you condense these vapors right here this distillate when you condense it this is known as distillate so this distillate will contain more ethanol right and less water because these water compared to this original solution because this original solution contains say 50% ethanol 50% water so when it will vaporize this vapor phase will contain say 80% ethanol right and 20% water Right, because we said that the vapor phase will contain more ethanol because ethanol is more volatile so vapor phase will always be richer in more volatile component so this distillate since initially we have 50 percent ethanol right and 50 percent water right now this vapor phase contains 80 percent ethanol 20 percent water so this distillate will also contain this distillate will also contain 80% ethanol and 20% water right so now if you take if you further purify this distillate that is if you if you want to further remove water from it you again take this distillate here back to this container right where you perform fractional distillation now now this contains now this contains 80 percent it contains 80 percent ethanol right and 20 percent water since now this it contains the this, this distillate now again when it will vaporize right it will again contain say 80 percent ethanol and 20 percent water so more of ethanol is passing into vapor state right and water will remain here in this container more water will remain in the container right and more ethanol will pass into vapor state so distillate will contain more and more water right so now let's say it contains 90 percent ethanol right and 10 percent water again it will go to distillate 90 percent water 20 percent water 90 percent uh, ethanol and 10 percent water 
right it will again come here now let's say when you again vaporize or when you again boil this mixture containing 90% ethanol 10% water now again this vapor phase will contain 95% ethanol and only 5% water right so distillate will also contain 95% ethanol and 5% water right now now to when this when you take this 95% ethanol and 5% water in this container and you boil it right this distillate i'm sorry this vapor phase will contain you will observe this, this that this distillate will contain 95% ethanol and 5% water right so further purification is not possible why because initially when you took 50% water 50% ethanol this vapor phase contained this vapor phase contained 80% ethanol 20% water right so when you further purified it when you recycled the distillate back here when you boiled it it again contained vapor phase was again richer in ethanol so it was 90% ethanol right and 10% water but when it was 95% pure and when you took the when you bring the distillate here right in this container for fractional distillation this liquid mixture contained 95% ethanol and 5% water and when you boiled it this liquid this vapor phase contains 95% ethanol and 5% water right so the composition of this vapor phase is same as the composition of liquid mixture right so this contains 95% water ethanol 5% water vapor phase contains 95% ethanol right so when you distillate it this distillate will also contain 95% ethanol so here this composition is stuck at 95% ethanol further removal of water is not possible using fractional distillation so such liquid mixtures that boil with their with the composition unchanged right unchanged with the composition of vapor phase unchanged because now the composition of vapor phase is not changing it is stuck at 95% ethanol now such liquid mixtures are which boil now these liquid mixtures boil at constant temperature right like water boil at constant temperature 100 degrees celsius pure water and the vapor phase will contain the same composition right similarly these liquid mixtures boil at constant temperature and their composition also remains also remains same as compared to liquid mixture like like that of now it's behaving like a pure liquid it's not behaving like a liquid mixture wherein the vapor phase contains more of volatile component now since it remains the composition remains unchanged right and this behaves like a pure liquid such mixtures are known as azeotrope mixtures or azeotrope solutions now further since further purification of ethanol is not possible using fractional distillation we employ azeotrope distillation for such azeotropic mixtures in azeotrope distillation what we do is we perform fractional distillation right but with a suitable volatile component we perform fractional distillation of such systems like 95% ethanol using a volatile component right azeotrope distillation we are not discussing here right in detail so azeotropes can't be separated by fractional distillation example 95% ethanol like here so you so we use azeotrope distillation to further obtain 100% ethanol now this kind of behavior is shown by non ideal liquid mixtures or non ideal liquid solutions which show positive and negative deviations from raoult's law right so if you look at this diagram for positive deviations we know that vapor pressure is higher as compared to the normal vapor pressure or the vapor pressure as per raoult's law since vapor pressure is higher we know that if vapor if you can easily form vapors of a liquid it means the boiling point of the liquid would be less now since here the vapor pressure is high 
of these non-ideal solutions so the boiling point would be less compared to the liquid compared to the original liquids or compared to the pure liquids the boiling point of this liquid mixture would be less because the vapor pressure has gone high right so the boiling point would be less and at one point when the boy when the vapor pressure is maximum right the boiling point would be minimum right when the vapor pressure of this liquid mixture is maximum the vapor pressure is maximum right so at that point when the leak when the vapor pressure is maximum this liquid mixture will boil at minimum temperature at minimum boiling point right so at this point at this composition it boils with a minimum boiling point as will and will behave like a azeotrope like here right so azeotropes are shown by non ideal solutions so which is known as minimum boiling azeotrope like these azeotropes where vapor pressure is high where where vapor pressure is more compared to pure liquids right and boiling point is less right so such liquid mixtures right that show positive deviation and higher vapor pressure at one point at one composition where the vapor pressure is maximum the boiling point would be minimum so these this with this composition this liquid mixture will boil with a minimum boiling point with a minimum boiling point temperature and this is a example of azeotrope similarly if we talk about non ideal solutions that show that show negative deviation right negative deviation means the vapor pressure is less when vapor pressure is less right so in order to boil this liquid mixture that has less vapor pressure you have to heat it more so that its vapor pressure become equal to the atmospheric pressure right and it starts boiling right so since vapor pressure is low so you have to heat it more right so the boiling point is higher for solutions that show negative deviations right so boiling point would be higher compared to pure liquids right why because because vapor pressure vapor pressure is low boiling point is greater than pure liquids why because vapor pressure is low compared to pure liquids right so at one composition on this graph when the vapor pressure when the vapor pressure is minimum right like let's say here the vapor pressure is minimum at this point this liquid mixture will boil at maximum boiling point at this point the boiling point of this mixture would be maximum so at that point it behaves as an azeotrope which boils at a maximum boil which boils at maximum boiling point right so such azeotropes such liquid mixtures are called maximum boiling azeotropes which boils at maximum boiling point because of minimum vapor pressure it boils at maximum boiling point because less vapors means you have to heat it more right so that its vapor pressure becomes equal to the atmospheric atmospheric pressure and it starts boiling right so minimum vapor pressure means you have to heat it maximum or the boiling point is maximum at that point which is your maximum boiling azeotrope right so here in this case the boiling point since the vapor pressure i'll, I'll just repeat i'm just repeating this for liquid mixtures that show positive deviations boiling point would be greater than i'm sorry boiling point would be less than pure liquid right why because vapor pressure is high compared to pure liquids right vapor pressure is high so boiling point would be minimum uh, boiling point would be less and at one point where uh, and at one point where vapor pressure is maximum the boiling point would be minimum right it boils with a minimum boil it's it's a minimum boiling mixture 
so minimum boiling is your drop and this when it boils with a maximum boiling point it's a maximum boiling is your drop right so these are the azeotrope solutions which boils at which boils at maximum and which minimum boiling point so what is the effect of pressure on changing pressure both the composition and boiling point of azeotrope can change which indicates that azeotrope are not definite compounds so when you change pressure of azeotropes both the composition and boiling point will change we know that with the increase or decrease in pressure the boiling point will change right and so as composition now we have Konovalov's law, Konovalov or Konovalov's rule, which states that it's similar to what we have done before, what we've discussed in fractional distillation. When you heat a liquid mixture, the vapor phase will contain more component, will or the vapor phase would be richer in component which has, which is more volatile. The component which is more volatile, right, would be more in the vapor phase. This is what it means. Mole fraction of more volatile component is always greater in the vapor phase than in the solution phase. This is what it means. So vapor phase is relatively richer in component whose addition to the liquid mixture results in an increase in total vapor pressure. This means if you add a, suppose it's, it's plain water, if you add ethanol to it, all of a sudden you see that the vapor pressure is increased. Vapor pressure is increased because of the addition of ethanol because eth ethanol is more volatile more volatile means it will easily go into the vapor phase the force intermolecular force of attraction is less in ethanol compared to water so more of ethanol molecules will vaporize and enter into vapor state so due to ethanol the vapor pressure is increased right so it's that's what it says vapor fresh vapor phase is relatively richer in component whose addition to the liquid like here ethanol results in an increase in total vapor pressure it's due to ethanol Right. So I hope all this is clear to you. Thanks.